All right. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for, quote unquote, tuning in. My name is Anthony Smoke. Hopefully you're watching this from my YouTube channel or at anthonysmoke.com. This is the fourth in my BI Basics series, and today we're going to be talking click view. So the apply map function, I think, is a very handy function to have on hand when you're writing click view load scripts. So this is the uh, the output from the uh, from the click view manual. And it's a little antiseptic. It's it's hard to uh, figure out what's going on. So I figure I'd uh, step through a simple example here to show you how powerful and uh, useful this function can be. So just a quick syntax uh, review here. We've got apply map. Um, you can use the uh, map name. That's your mapping table name. You can have an expression, and then you're going to have a default value. And so, why would you use the apply map function? So, if you want to replace a single key value with a value from a lookup table, then this is the function that you're going to use. Think of it; uh, it's an analog to a case statement in uh, in SQL or um, uh, in Visual Basic for applications, right? You take an input value and you change it to something else uh, in your in your load script. So. Let's uh, let's take a look at a very simple example. Here's my current state table. I've got a product ID, product name, and I've got a CID one two three four five. But I don't want one two three four five. I want uh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, depending upon you know which what the CID value is. And so this is a mapping table. You see this mapping load here. So it's going to create a temporary table in memory just for lookup purposes. And then the output is going to be red, orange, yellow, green, blue, depending upon the CID value, right? So again, if we were to look at this in click view, this is what your mapping table would look like. Again, mapping load, color ID, color description, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, one, two, three, four, five. You've got to have uh, the ID and value in that order. And so the great advantage of the mapping table is that it only exists during load time. Now I've seen some some click view data models that could have really used uh, the apply map function. Just tons of tables scattered throughout the model uh, when you could have used a function like this to make it uh, less cluttered and easy to look at. Uh, again, this is your end result uh, script product. I want to load the product ID, product name. That, that's where where I'm going to apply the apply map here. I don't want one, two, three, four, five. I want to map to the uh, the mapping table color map. The CID is that key value, that lookup value. If I go back, you'll see the one, two, three, four, five here, right? And then unknown when there isn't a uh, a value found. That's what's going to display there. So I'm reading that from a simple uh, Excel file on my desktop, and you'll see this is what the output looks like, right? You have that red, orange, yellow, green, blue, depending upon you know. The, uh, the value, that CID value. So let me fire up uh, click view really quick. You'll see here, this is my current state table. Very simple, CID 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. And so if I were to open up the editor, right, I am going to, I don't want CID anymore. We want that to go away. I'm going to add the apply map function, all right, color underscore map and CID is my field and when you can't find a match we're gonna call it unknown and the field is going to be called color All right now if I were to run this let's go ahead and reload right cancel all of this you will see now that I have red orange yellow green blue here instead of one two three four five it's using that lookup power so hopefully you found this uh, a very useful function and you can take this apply map function add it to your cute click view repertoire now get out there and make a difference with your data thanks for watching this has been uh, anthony smoke